Williams class for your arithmetic today. The questions are as follows. Eight times eight. What is half of 320? What is 268 as a Roman numeral? What number is next in the sequence? 12, 18, 24, 30. Seven times seven. 40 divided by eight. A tenth of 20. 1,340 plus 1,527, 8,549, take away 2,344, 24 divided by 8. Now the answers are as follows. 8 times 8 equals 64. What is half of 320? 160. What is 268 as a Roman numeral? C, C, L, X, V, I, I, I. What number is next in the sequence? 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Seven times seven equals 49. 40 divided by eight equals five. A tenth of 20 equals two. 1,340 plus 1,527 equals 2,867. 8,549 take away 2,344 equals 6,205. And lastly, 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Now our learning objective for today's lesson is, can I recognize equivalent fractions? So by the end of this lesson today, you will be able to use a bar model to show equal fractions and you will be able to apply your knowledge of fractions to find equal fractions. So let's have a recap. What fraction of these shapes are shaded? Have a go at working that out for me. So if we look at the first one, let's see how many parts are shaded. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my numerator, my number at the top. Five out of how many parts all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's five out of ten. Our next question or our next shape to look at, I am going to just make sure the pen is nice and thin. This shape over here, how many parts have been shaded? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four parts. Just have to double check, boys and girls. <laughs> four out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got four tenths there. This pentagon here, let's have a look. We've got three parts that have been shaded out of how many parts altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three tenths here. This circle here, we've got one that's been shaded out of how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got one tenth there. And then lastly, this circle here. I've got two parts that have been shaded out of how many total parts? One, two, or how many parts in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I put two out of ten, otherwise known as two tenths. So that was a little recap to what we've been doing. Here's a question for you. What do you think equivalent means? Equivalent, what does that mean? The term equivalent means equal in value. Let's have a look at these rods. Now in school, we would use these. I believe they're called Cuisinaire rods. Um, they would help us to understand equivalent fractions. So we don't obviously have these uh, in our, we don't have these if you're not in school, I'm not in school either. So we have to just make do with some pictures that we have. Now we also have what's known as a fraction wall. So this fra uh, fraction wall helps us to see um, what fractions are equal to. So for example, if I just give you a short introduction, let's say we have this fraction over here. What fraction is this? One over two, which is also known as a half. What um, fractions are equal to a half? Look at the shape of it and look at the size of this bar. If you really think about it, these two put together 
make up this half. So two quarters makes up a half because as you can see, this is a half here and this is when two quarters are put together, you'll see that they're the same size. So that is what a fraction wall helps you to see. Um, yep, I just went to the bottom to show you the bottom. Now here is a fraction right here. This is half of a whole, it's one over two. How many quarters make up a half? I've just told you this actually, so you should be able to answer this. How many quarters make up a half? You've got one quarter here and you've got one quarter here. So in total, how many quarters have I used? Two. I've used two quarters to make up a half because they're the same size. When you put two quarters together, they're the same size as one half. If I just put one quarter on its own, it's not big enough to then be equal to a half. So you need two for that. Now we can say that a half is equivalent to two quarters as they represent the same amount. So the word here, equivalent, means equal to, which is true. Two quarters, that means we've used one quarter two times, which we have, we've used it once there and once here. When you put both of them together, side by side, they then make up a size that is equal to a half. So let's have a look at our fraction wall again. How many equivalent fractions can you find? I would like for you to find me at least four equivalent fractions. If I was to give you one, I'll just remind you, a half is one fraction. And I would say, let me put it here. A half is equivalent to, now let me find fractions that are the same size. I'm looking at the size of my a half, which is the size of this, I would say two quarters is the size of a half because they're the exact same size. And because I've used a quarter, the fraction here, a quarter, I've used it two times. So if I use something two times, that means it's two quarters. So I would put a half is equivalent to two quarters, full stop. I would like for you to find four different types of equivalent fractions if you can. Have a go. You've got the twelfths at the bottom here as well. I wonder if I can zoom out. I might not be able to zoom out, but um, this is your fraction wall. So have a go at finding equivalent fractions for me. Now here is your independent task. Well, you have three questions in your independent task to do. You have to complete the equivalent fractions. Have a go. Let's have a try of doing this together now. So you have part A. One half is equal to how many under over eight? So what this is saying is this here is this uh, part of your fraction wall because you have, if you, if you divide the fraction wall into two parts, let's have a look at this part first, okay? How many parts can you see in that in total? Two. That's why we have two as our denominator, as our bottom number. And how many parts has been shaded in? One. So that's why then this fraction at the top would be a half. So in the same exact way, actually, instead of doing that, I'll just press undo. In the same exact way, you have this fraction at the bottom, the one that is shown by the yellow. So how many parts do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight parts in total. And how many parts have been shaded in? One, two, three, four. And if you look at that fraction as well, or if you look at how much has been shaded in, the yellow part is the same size as the green part. So that means that they are equivalent. They are equal to each other. You could be equivalent to a person if you're the same height as them. It's all about having the same size. Let's try the next one. We have part B. A quarter, which is the fraction at the top, this is a quarter because you have four parts here and one part has been shaded, so that's a quarter, is equal to two out of what? So we know that it is two because um, two blocks have been shaded in blue, but how many parts do we have in total at the bottom here? Let's count that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means it's two out of eight and it's true, one quarter is equivalent to two eighths. One being shaded in at the top is the same as two being colored in at the bottom there. Part C, 
three quarters, so three have been shaded out of four total, that's three quarters, is equal to six out of what? So we have six that have been colored in, but how many do we have in total? How many parts at the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight parts in total that have been colored, that, have, that we have in total, not that have been colored in. Only six of them have been colored in. So that is six out of eight. Or if you want to say it in another way, you could say six eighths. Next task here, you have to match each bar model to its equivalent fraction. Off you go. Let's do this together. So we have our first one here, which is a half. Now, which bar here shows you half has been shaded or colored in? Which bar has had half of it colored in? Let me put myself, I'll put myself here. If you said this one, then you are absolutely correct because three out of six has been shaded and three is half of six. So that's a half. What about one third? Where would you match one third? If you said here, then you are correct. Two out of six have been shaded there and two out of six is the same as a third being shaded in. Now let's try a quarter. Where would a quarter go? It would go to the top one there because two have been shaded, two has been shaded in or two parts have been shaded in out of eight parts and that is the same as a quarter. So what's left then? One eight, that would obviously go here because out of eight total parts, one has been shaded in. There we go. Let's move myself back there. Next one here. This bar model represents three fourths, which is true because out of four total parts, three have been shaded in. Which bar models can be used to show a fraction that is equivalent to three quarters? So out of these three, you have to tell me which one can we use to show a fraction that is equal to three quarters, which is our top one here. Shade the bar models to support your answers. Off you go. Now there is more than one that you could use. You can't use the top one because it just does not, what you have to do basically is I look at this final line here and where this is I then go down to see where I would find that line again so look at what I'm doing I'm following this line here okay because they're they're drawn in the exact same column so keep going I'll show you what I mean keep going so look I've gotten to this top bar here but there's no line here to sort of separate the block so that means that that's not equivalent that's not the same because the line is either too far back or too far forward so it wouldn't be the top one, but it would be this one here because look, it lines up really, really nicely. So I would shade in this one. I really hope you're shading it in a lot neater than I am, but I would definitely, that is the same. Can you see? And also this lines up really well. So look, this lines up to this. And then if you go to the top, it lines up with the top fraction. So I would also shade this one in, but we haven't finished yet because we have to tell each other now, we just have to explain, write down what fractions they all are. So what fraction is this? It's not three quarters, although it's equivalent to three quarters, this shape has not been divided into four parts and three haven't been colored in, it's different. How many total parts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my denominator here will be eight. And how many parts have I shaded in? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of eight is equivalent to three quarters. What about here? How many parts in total do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And how many parts have I shaded in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine twelfths is equivalent to three quarters. 
That is the end of our arithmetic. Arithmetic. That is the end of our maths lesson for today, boys and girls. It was to recognize equivalent fractions. I hope you are able to recognize them a lot better and quicker now. If not, then you always have our live sessions just to double check that you've understood it or if you have any questions that you want to ask. I'll see you very soon, Williams class. Take care. Bye.